We have succeeded in preparing and uh, putting together a very comprehensive national climate change action plan that looks at the broad spectrum of climate change, uh, you know, setting the stage for the development path that we want to take, uh, looking at issues of the policy of climate change, looking at the issues of legislative uh, aspects of climate change, uh, and uh, you know how to adapt, how to mitigate, and the information systems and the financial mechanisms and, and, and all that. Uh, so for me, the action plan is going to redirect the development costs of our country vis-a-vis -vis climate change. Already climate change is affecting the lives and livelihoods of common Kenyans. Uh, our GDP was affected to the extent of you know, 2.4 percentage loss because of climate change and variability uh, over the last few years. Now that we, ha we, we are moving ahead and putting uh, climate change uh, action plan into our development, I have no doubt that it's going to have direct implications for the survival strategies of all the, the, the Kenyans, uh, the private sector, the public sector, and the common uh, individuals, uh, citizens of the country. My hope for this action plan is, uh, first of all, is going to put Kenya on a low carbon uh, <coughs> economic growth. And uh, it is my hope that by putting Kenya uh, in that kind of uh, growth, growth path, we are going to help us to combat our, the challenges that we are facing as a country with regards to climate change. And uh, by extension, it's going to help us adapt and uh, come up with uh, relevant mitigation for the impacts of climate change. I support the, pro the, the, the strategy and uh, I'm hoping that the, 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 the team, uh, the secretariat is going to work very, hard, very fast so that they present the memo to the cabinet so that they can be able to work on it. Because I, I, I want to see a case, where, a, a case where not to wait for the next government because there's a need for continuity. Can we get started so that the, the next government comes in when it is already working so that they reinforce it? I think on the, on the process itself, uh, if you look at, and, and this is very much in evidence in the session, where uh, there is a cross-ministerial climate change task force. And this task force is actually taking the ownership and the responsibility for most of the elements of the action plan. In fact, I, I was excited by looking at each of the, the persons from the task force trying to respond to queries from the, from the audience today. And that shows the ownership of this. So, so I think there's a strong ownership of the, the whole element. Uh, uh, I think Kenya and Kenyans want to take this action plan forward. And, and it's articulated right in private sector, civil society, the government, the community, and of course the development partners. It's taken some years. It's taken actually a whole year coming through. And uh, we've made tremendous progress. And particularly the fact that uh, the Ministry of Environment and Mineral Resources um, did its best to make it as inclusive as possible before even meeting with the stakeholders, um, the task forces. They comprise not just members of uh, the public, um, public sector, I mean in the ministry, government employees, but it has uh, people from the universities as well as civil society and private sector involved. So they have tried their best to have an inclusive input in the product before it even gets to the stakeholders. And that's very much appreciated. Uh, developing this action plan has been a, a journey, okay? And it's a worthy journey uh, because there are quite a, num a number of uh, uh, sharings of experience that have, you know, you know, uh, has come to my attention, okay? I live alone in my region because weather has got no boundaries, okay? What is happening across the other borders is, a, is also affecting my, my region. The whole world is watching us. We have a document today that we can say this is how we want Kenya to move. I'm proud that to say that Kenya, from a civil society perspective, is not going to let down our development partners in this process of action plan. I am positive that nobody wants to die tomorrow. We need to increase the resilience of our people. We need to make this action plan actualized. So I'm positive that yes, Kenyans are positive to do that.